What's up, people? I'm Bilal, and I'm back with A Plague Tale Requiem, episode 13. In the last episode, we reached the island of Lacuna. We took part in the festivities over there until, inevitably, things had to go south. Arno apparently had uh, made a deal with Hugo to, uh, in order for us to get to the island. Uh, Hugo was supposedly uh, meant to set the rats on the count of Provence. Um, and obviously Amicia was not okay with that. Um, Arno ended up fighting the count and, uh, because of Amicia's interference, losing to the count and he got, um, caught. So he wasn't like killed, but he was, um, thrown into jail or something of that sort. And, um, there is a spiritual leader at the island uh, with the name em uh, Emilia, I believe who has invited us to her place and this is where we will begin the story wow there's a cutscene hugo come all right this is how we ended the last episode with this cutscene so, how do you like our terrace this is really your house <laughs> this is home it's incredible come Come inside. Right, so yeah, this is where we ended. And I'm actually, like, a bit put off by how Amicia actively participated in um, in uh, Arno getting caught. I rambled on about that at the end of the last episode. But now we're just invited to these guys' house. We're apparently in the good graces of the Count after killing uh, a lot of his men and also... Um, that big guy, the beast, um, and now the Count has invited us to his house, or Amelia's house, rather, um, who is the spiritual leader of this island, the mother, as they call her, at the island. Oh, it's big! It is, and it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes, I know this all looks pretty formal, but please. Here I'm not Your Grace. I am the mother. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one, united around the Child of Embers. <coughs> so? I love it! <laughs> a bon vivant. Be careful, they're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. We came here hoping for a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this adventure. It's amazing. I know. Can't wait to see our room. Um... Okay, it's just a little off-putting how, like, quickly Amicia is also excited about, like, staying here for a few days, at least. Whoa. Some stuttering, stuttering there. <laughs> Frame rate drops. Um, dates. I really like um, dates. There's so many different kinds. And uh, some are dry, some are pitless. And dates have a lot of fiber, so that's very good for your... Digestion. Go get a room ready for two, please. Certainly, mother. She's her mummy. No, <laughs> it's symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Yeah, Splendid. Cool. Finally, they clean to the basins. Yes, aren't they nice? Well, this is posh. Very posh. And they have flower uh, like petals everywhere on the ground. So she gets showered You're with roses. Such a long trip. Where are your parents? Mummy is somewhere, but Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here, but we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know. We drink water. <laughs> and we need a good soil, love, and care. <clears throat> These are 
This land is open to you, if you wish to keep growing here. But of course, the big sister will decide. Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The my land love. here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us, his mother and father. And to the people. To his mother and father? Okay, so the Count Victor thinks of himself as the father. I mean, he's obviously romantically involved with Amelia, but he's a military guy, she's a spiritual leader. I mean, I give her the benefit of doubt more than I give him the benefit of doubt. And I can't get through here. At least right now. I mean... Ugh. I think the game is meant to make you feel uneasy at this junk, uh, this um, point. At this junction. But... We pray to him, not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We love and revere him to revive his flame. Yeah, why do I get the feeling that Hugo is that child and these guys will yank him away from Amicia? Like, they already know it's him and they're just, like, luring us into a false sense of security. If that is really the case, that's like, Amicia, as what she's been through as a character, should see that coming. Like, she should really be protective of Hugo while they're over here. Which does not seem to be the case because she seems to be relaxed. I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, he's a count and she, as a Darun, is also uh, nobly born or highborn. So I guess she feels more comfortable in this environment. Not sure. One stone. It's the bird. Wait. Would you pray with me? You can do it in your own way. Sure. Hugo? I'll pray to the bird. A humble flame. To light his night, and may he rise, a sun, a sun, so bright. So bright. So bright. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shall we go? Uh, sorry, mother. Could we take some time to pray for our father? Hugo? Yes, of course. I understand. I'll wait for you. Come when it is done. We need to talk. Dear we need father. to call. Hugo. Good point. Well done, Amicia. Like, okay, now I feel like she is a bit careful. Okay, can't go through there. We'll probably have to follow them. Can't walk any faster either. <laughs> is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. The new robes? I it must will say, be perfect. We appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child bears the future of the world. One child can change everything. That is very true. Ooh, it's giving me a very unsettling feeling. Like new robes for Hugo before he's what sacrificed. Because, like, the phoenix lore... Oh, another stutter. The lore of the phoenix is um, is a bit, like, die and be reborn out of the ashes, right? I hope that's not the case. Because if that is, Amicia is bringing this motherfucker down. <laughs> Here it is. Go on. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. There's a good dinner being cooked. A real dinner, Amicia! Shh! Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you've had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? Hugo! He will be judged. 
all those who do bad things are, and he did a lot. But you will have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. But enough of that. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My lady? Beds are great. Try jumping on them. Yes! Okay. Maybe I'm just being over paranoid about these guys. I don't know. Tales and revelations. Okay. Information. Sounds like. These clothes feel so nice. Yes. Hey, come here, sleepyhead. Hey, what does he have dangling from... Is that a bottle or something? Come on, it's just the sun. Look, it's worth it. It's another reference Whoa. to him not liking it's... the light. Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes, exactly like my dream. Quickly, let's eat something and get going. Come on. It's good to see Amicia smiling. <clears throat> it's beautiful. Can we go play? Hey, we're here to know why you dreamt about this place, right? Yes, let's go. Okay. Um, we should, oh yeah, this is the same area where we started the episode. What perfect weather for exploration. Mm -hmm. Yes, island explorers. Let's find the exit first. Very pretty, very, very pretty. <laughs> Look at that. It's so big. Yeah, the two fingers. Let's check out that area first. Don't have access to my weapons, so this will be a peaceful segment. Which I'm not complaining about. Um, okay, nothing. <clears throat> I have to look out for tools, essentially. That's all I'm... Um, lacking. I think we're very good on our ammo and, you know, resources at the moment. But now I can I'm always do the tools. All, right? If you see anything, yes, I'll keep my eyes piled. Peeled. <laughs> we say keep my eyes peeled. Oh, that's horrible. It's <laughs> yes, it's horrible. Mm hmm If you think about it, it is horrible. <laughs> Peel the eyes or pile the eyes is also horrible. But yeah. Ah, yeah, exotic like tropical plants, palm trees. Imported goods. This seems to be like a trading sort of a place. Could get used to it. Would you be a countess? Oh no, too many responsibilities. About the flowers? Did you know the countess insisted they be picked up at the last minute? For them to be fresh as a young child, yes. I'll send the new servant. She has a gentle touch. She won't ruin them. Yeah, more child references. Oh man, child of embers. <clears throat> Mm 
there's the black and yellow, Good day but... You. Good day. Thank you. Um, black and yellow is friendly now, which might take some time getting used to. I see that black and yellow uniform, I'm like, get the sling out. Or run. <laughs> okay, can't go through there. Um, we can just continue on down here. I want to get up there, huh? It's going to be a hot day. Oh, you're right about that. I can't imagine having to wear that helmet. Well, things got a bit rough yesterday at the harbor, so... Yes, I heard about that. Better safe than sorry. Things were rough in the harbor it's because of... The way out. I suppose. Let's ask this guard. Because of two young you people and... I don't know. How? There's too many ponds. <laughs> <laughs> is very true <laughs> the count is very rich indeed and now we talk to mr. black and yellow what is he wearing oh nose guard hello can we go outside sure enjoy the brighter days slept well Sophia hi hello nice to see you how did you know where you'd be? That's my life, sweetheart. Wake up early, observe, listen, and make the best of it. That's how I discovered Arno was in jail. Yes, that bastard. He betrayed us. And worse, he used Hugo. What kind of use could he make of such a tiny creature? Or are you more useful than you look like, little one? I'm not joking, Sophia. Arno may be your friend, but he almost got us killed. So you spent the night celebrating his capture with the Count of Provence and his wife? No, I don't care about them. I kneel to no lord, Sophia. No count, no king, no one. I only care about him. All right. I hit a nerve there. I was teasing you. I just like to know who my friends really are. And I like what I hear. Come. Let's take a walk. Yes! Sophia asked the right question. That is what I would have asked Misia as well. Why the sudden change? But she just thought linearly about it as her character is wont to do. And that, yeah, Hugo is everything. Nobody else matters. You mess with Hugo, you get fucked. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's take a walk, Sophia. I took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're mm -hmm. going yet? Not yet, no. Take your time. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Mm. Easy, boy, easy. Horse is being brushed. <clears throat> can we, can we pet the horses? We couldn't do it earlier, I think. Yeah, we can't. Oh well. Okay, let's run along over here. Is this... Yeah, I want to go opposite to the direction of the mountain, just because I want to explore. <clears throat> Shouldn't we go out on delivery now? We still have time. The feast is this evening. I'm pretty sure they haven't started cooking. Why the music? What's with the music? What? Okay. This is a dead end, okay. So we head down that uh, winding road where uh, the music started getting pretty ominous all of a sudden. Here we go again. Just out for our morning run here. Got 
can't go down here, I assume, because there's three people standing in the way. Black and yellow flags, Count Victor. Is oh, that a falcon? Is You're that right. that falcon? Oh no, that's the phoenix. Is it the one from your dream? Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So, a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there was a bird. All right. Why not? <laughs> bird is pointing down in this direction. We have another direction. We will check that out first. Yeah. Hey, I'd like that. You have a real boat. Just do it for real. Oh, you've never seen a naval fight, have you? I've seen fights. A battlefield. Yes. Stay on land for this, believe me. Yeah. It's no fun. Okay, this seems like it's gonna go on for a bit and we're heading towards the mountain. I okay. Sorry, very indecisive right now because this game hasn't been very open world without danger, at least, um, so far. So I'm just like, I have to check out everything and we'll just follow. Maybe we'll find a trinket in the direction that this phoenix is looking. There's another one. Another phoenix. There! It was looking at another bird. You're right. So what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Yep. Everything's so different from Guyenne. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot in Guyenne. Not in the same way. I trust you. Probably more humid, eh? Hello. We don't have any tools, right. though. Let's get to work. Do we? No, we don't. No tools, no cigar. Tools? Pieces. <clears throat> Up and over. Interesting. So this bird is pointing. Have you seen in... that sky? Yes. Couldn't hope for brighter days. I just hope they won't get any hotter. No, they'll be just perfect. Thank the child. Thank the child. That sounds so weird, right? Thank the Lord, thank God, and then thank the child. Okay, I'm confused now. Should I head down towards that pond area, or should I keep following these... Um... These phoenixes? In the direction where they're... Pointing? Let me take a sneak peek over here. Yeah, this might actually be the direction we have to go. I'm, I'm actually not sure. Very confused right now. Sorry about that. But it's just like if I get to a point where the story will move on, I might not get to come back here. So. It's always one of those things. You see, if you crush them enough, it will perfume clothes and fabric. That way you smell like flowers. Yes. You'll be like a little dancing lavender. Oh, lavender. That is a very strong smell. Lavender flowers. Okay, um, I'll just head down there now, um, just trusting that the phoenix direction is where the main quest is, and this is where we probably will find some loot or some lore, um, maybe even, uh, some tools. I'll just go in that same direction. Hmm. 
Hey, at least we can sprint, right? Can we go back to searching the birds, Amicia? Well, that's encouraging for me, because where he wants to search for the birds, that's the main quest, and this is where we find something interesting, hopefully. Climb up. Yes. Tools, please. Yes. No tools. Damn it. <laughs> Come Locked. on. You're not going to let a locked door stop you. Let's look around. Okay. There seems to be an entirely, like, side thing. Can't get down there. Um, There's something inside. Maybe send Hugo to that little crevice or shoot the sling. Yeah, suddenly I have control of the sling. Bam. Let's go back. Yes! Let's take the tower! <laughs> oh, so you came to conquer. Only towers. The rest doesn't interest oh. him. Towers are the best, because you can climb them. You are too cute, Hugo. Ah, I'm gonna get a knife. What do you think is up there? <clears throat> Maybe the bird's nest. Oh, where it lays its eggs. Huh? You think it's mummy? Who knows? <sighs> Damn ladders. Oh. oh. Sophia's cardio Climb isn't up. looking so good. All right. What do we have here? I used that knife to open this up. Okay. Nice. Is this a workbench again? It is, Time isn't it? Work. Yeah. And these probably are tools. Oh, no tools. God damn it. Hmm. We're almost at the top. Well, let's go then. It was worth it. There's that in the air up there. Ooh. Are those kites? Nice view. Oh. No lootage up here. Vantage point. Come closer. Look, now you can feel like your bird when it perches high up. Not just any bird. A bird of prey. King of birds. What do you see? I see where I hunt. And what do you hunt? Sausages! <laughs> <laughs> you know what else birds of prey do? They screech. You ready? Yes! Sophia is going to screech with us, right? I was born to screech. On three. <laughs> One, two, three! Screech! <laughs> cute. <laughs> Very cute. Time to head back down. Now everybody knows we're here. Nice screeching, by the way, you two. Mm -hmm. Yours was pretty good, too. I know. It's my commanding voice. <laughs> you need one to be heard over the sound of the sea. Mm. <laughs> Your crew must love it. Oh, they've never complained. <laughs> nice screeching. Um, that's probably to close this. Let's make some changes. No tools, god damn it. Let's see if we can Oh no, that was just Oh damn <laughs> That looked like a bottle to me and I thought like that's just ugh. Okay, now we Let's have we one done. thing of tools which is not going to be enough for anything but the crossbow. Okay, why not? should make things a bit easier. How many crossbow bolts can we carry now? Still two? Just two? Dang it. Let's go down. Uh-huh. Alright, let's get out of here. 
that was the side stuff. And now we Let's follow the down. Phoenix Be statues. Amicia, I'd like to see the stone birds again. This yes, will help a lot. We shall do just that, Master Hugo. Keep up, Sophia. Very, very, very pretty. Visuals are really, the visuals are really good in this game. This is where the phoenix should be. There it is. Now we go this way, find the next phoenix. And then there was like a little archway over there. Like further down here and then on the left. An archway or some sort of like a thing. Here, yeah, like a guard post. Hey! Just a few more tiles. Oh, they're putting tiles. Why are you so depressed? What's up? Another phoenix pointing in that direction. Oh, and then another one pointing in that direction. Okay. Oh, Where's the? It's looking at that house. Yeah. The answer might be in there. Oh, there's another one. Let's have a look. A few more tiles. They said they're not making tiles, are they? Somebody else says I can hear the hammering. Somebody inside the house probably. <clears throat> But yeah. I am not sure what just happened. Okay, so I realized there was something wrong with the audio, which um, for which I had to make a little cut. But we'll continue on down here. I had to restart the game. Um, I hope I can fix the audio in post. Doesn't look too bad, but some balancing issues. Um, we're following the phoenix still. You ready? Just about. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Long live Count Victor and Countess Emily! Hey, Countess. Countess mother. Oh. This uh, is all nice. Wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? Yes. Good you point. have to be a count to take that kind of risk. This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can't close. Yep. Money talks. Okay. We saw these uh, windows Wait, coming in. Can we go and look inside? Why not? Let's try it. Tell me, why this fascination with windmills? They look like giants with funny turning shield swords. Boy, I just oh. see bloody wheat grinders. What's that? I know, Sophia. It's probably a break to stop the windmill. Should we stop it? Let's do it. Why the hell not? gonna mess with their granaries I guess but we might find some loot here one of these some tools look out for tools okay I'll get there probably have to get something push something in there and then climb up top yeah these were kites Saw them earlier from the tower. Okay, can't get into this one yet. Might need the next one. Let's 
Yeah, that's the cart that we'll be pushing. This one's closed too. We'll go back to the cart once we've seen this one. This looks like lootage. Selker. Hmm. Always good to make fire. Righto, let's grab that cart, head on into the second room. No. Ah, it's a bit fidgety with the controls always. You have to push it forward only. Oh, push it back. Oh, they w it won't go any further? Weird. Okay, and push it forward. Do we have anything on the ground here? Nothing. No trap doors. Um, maybe the game's just bugging again. Just keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. Further. Further. Take care of it, Hugo. What? I can't, Amicia. Yeah. <laughs> what? Maybe we'll have to like boost Hugo up in the, on the second one because there was a prompt on this windmill. And we also have a post here. Whenever we have posts, we can always mess shit up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's how we get inside, is it? Yep. Climb up. Yes. Little windmill mystery. He says no tools. Wonder if there is something if I stop all the windmills. But what would happen? I, I don't know. Some farmers might get mad at us. Cart. Apparently, I could order Hugo to push it or something. Go on, Hugo. Oh, this thing. Okay, All gotcha. Right. There we go. And then open the door for us. Right? Where'd you go? You? Go. <laughs> yeah, grab my hand again. Up we go. Farewell. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna stop maybe one or two of these, see what happens. Oh, it worked! Shh, yeah. let's get away discreetly. More pieces, probably. Some sort of a prompt here. It's the ladder. How do we get to the ladder? We go under and then we climb up. <clears throat> Hugo can climb ladders really fast. I guess he's got a lot of training. Mind the drop. Yes. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Let's go stop this um, windmill. I'll see what happens when I stop all four of them. Oh, we still have to get inside. We couldn't get inside this one yet. Okay, so we'll go up again. And see if there's a nook or a cranny where Hugo might fit. Right? Right here? Probably? Or we shoot? No, that's like the crank.
Maybe the door has, yes. Takes a while, but I can get there eventually. <laughs> yep, it's done. Get down there. Yeah, at this point I, I kind of wish like Hugo would just like, we could tell him to stay put and just go and do this thing, uh, these kind of things. I just so it's a little bit faster. Now Maybe entering. It will start the windmill. Now entering. Oh, first the lootage. Windmill number four has now started. This one was not running. We made it run. There was another one that we stopped. I think I've had enough of these. How can they grow so many flowers? Maybe that child of embers actually has some power over this island. I would love to make flowers grow like that. I would love to make gold grow like that. Yeah. Gold doesn't smell good. <laughs> All right, you won. Yes, thank you. Yeah. You go. You are the cutest. The cutest. Whoa, what is that? Artifact? Graphical artifacts? Because of the kites? Okay. What are those things in the sky? Kites? You've never seen one? No! Well, they're like tiny boat sails. They take the wind and off they go. You, what's that? Oh, yes. People who can't have children come here to be blessed. Oh. That's sweet. I heard the Countess is the one who oh, created all this. She's so Very nice. It's the Count and her... Gorgeous, dear. They seem so much in love. It's... Embarrassing. Unexpected, I'd say. Yeah, I'm not too sure about them. Ah. <sighs> Closed. I'm sure there's a way to change that. There may be something useful in there. <laughs> Suddenly we're... Thieves again. But if it's tools in there, I want in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The door is being blocked by this hangy box. Can I get the hangy box too? Or can I tell Hugo to do something? No. Do I shoot at it with something else? No. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on. Up. Uh -huh. Oh, the kites are so close. Can we get down there? Ah. There we go. And now we can probably access the door. Uh, the door lock, that is. Can we go back to searching the birds, here. Amicia? There we are. And then there's this. Hey, you're good. I should hire you. I uh -huh. wasn't like this before. It's fine. I wasn't born a smuggler either. You do what you must. You do what you oh. must. <laughs> Why, hello there, big I chest. See what's inside. That's the tool, right? That bottle-looking thing? It always looked weird. It looked like a bottle. That's the tool. Yeah. But we don't have enough tools for any of the upgrades yet, but... 
It's good to have one. This year's flowers are sublime. Yes, they're life incarnate. Mm -hmm. We need more twigs over here. Oof. This wood's a bit damp, isn't it? Hello. Yes. But Hello. I'll get it started. You're painting. It's transparent. Ah, it's varnish to make it shinier for the child. Varnish? We could make your boat shiny, Sophia. It is shiny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you work, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Going on here. Train the tree. Nothing is dead. Everything's oh, look. We can see your boat, Sophia. Back. It's so small. Yes. And even small. It's still stunning. I didn't think we'd be so high above the sea. Called from renewed faith. Praise the child. Breathe on his bed of embers. That was funny. It's a prayer about life and children. Ah. You'll understand one day. Nothing is dead. Everything sleeps. Nothing is barren. All is waiting. No child is born. They already exist. Waiting for a new breath. Called from renewed faith. Praise the child. Breathe on his bed of embers. Interesting concepts they have in their prayer. One flower for the child, one for the mother. One for the father. Oh god, this is so like the Count and the Countess and Hugo. Not Wait. too tired, Hugo. No, I'm good. We've walked a lot. This island is quite big. It's big, but it's beautiful. I like it. Good. It wasn't easy, but I'm so glad we came. Don't use them at the same time. Fine wines and fine tools. Just time to get to work. Time. Which means there might be tools around. Can I buy tools from you, sir? Fish. A little mini market here. Leading up here. Hello. Hello. Are you going okay. to the harbor? Oh no, we went there yesterday. Thank you. Let's stay here and see the rest. Yeah. We wanted to follow the phoenixes. Hello there. So, no fight today. All is quiet. Bless be the child. Okay. Can't go down there. They just stopped walking. Because that leads to the harbor, I assume. Um, what is that fire? Up. Oh, that smoke, rather. Up we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nisia, hey. I don't think we should be here. There could be something important here, Hugo. Besides, nothing's nearly as fun as being where you're not supposed to be. Really? She's just joking. Right, Sophia? Uh, sure. Yeah. Amicia, I'd like to see the stone birds again. This will help a lot. What do you have for us? Yeah, another two. Nice. We can go back to the market, upgrade one of our skills, because we now have two tools. Hopefully if we have enough pieces. But, yeah. And there's like this smoke. There's some smoke coming out over there. Careful over with yonder. The All right. Um, we'll go check that out. But, let us upgrade. Make some changes. 
Okay, not with the crossbow. What is it with the crossbow though? With the lash quiver. Additional bolts. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> that is to kill helmet guys with a pot and ignifier. No, work, work pitch required. These are like two shots, right? Yeah, this might be actually more useful. Fine wines and fine tools. Just don't use them at the same time. Fine wines and fine mm. tools. Just don't use them at the same time. I'll do the sling. Aren't you like the sling? We um, you can always rely on the sling, and um, whereas crossbow bolts we can run out of. Um, but the next upgrade upgrade would be possibly uh, the crossbow bolts. Okay, bridge. This mountain is so big. I know, Shush. right? Trying to scare my fish away. Oh, sorry. Nice day for fishing, isn't it? <laughs> well, I hope his fish escape. You're right. Free the fishes. What is? <laughs> mm. That is a tomb. We call it a mound. There wasn't any tomb in my dream. Huh. Let's keep looking around. Okay, so Peter. Misia, be people. It's fine. I'm sure these ones are nice. Of course they are. They make honey, and I love honey. Me too. Who doesn't? Mm-hmm. Everybody's so nice here. Okay, there is this tower again. What about that staring bird? I know. It's our main lead. We should go yeah, back to it. I know. This might be the same tower that we already entered, right? Yeah, this looks like the same tower. Should be a door there on the left. Yes, there is. So we're back at square one. <laughs> if you're still watching, you're awesome. But we've just been exploring a whole lot during this episode. And we've had some technical issues, but I, I hope um, I'll be able to fix them. Some audio issues, be able to fix them uh, in post. run back I believe we lost track of the of the birds the bird statues at the point where the windmills were so that's where we gonna go turn left over here I know this place like the back of my hand by now ran through it a bunch of times Turn left here draw distance is doing weird things um, with the graphics. Alright. Um, looking for birds. The windmills should be up here. Yeah, that's the bird. Right there. And we turn this way now. That was the tree of the of prayer and then to the right that's the house for people who can't have kids um weird arch there's another bird look another bird it's looking at those columns that's mm -hmm. exciting let's go and see oh here we go This is it. What do you see? I see 
columns. It's beautiful. Nice find. Some sort of mm -hmm. uh, antique theater? Yes. It looks important. It's an ancient amphitheater. Now let's see. With a connection to the macula, no doubt. How much of stuff do we actually have now? Eight, eight, nine, seven. Okay, yeah. Thought we'd have more. What is this? Mosaic of uh, the same. The person the bird. and the bird. Yeah. And the child of embers. That's there the may child. be more under that cross. Are we going to cut it? Too slow. I should be able to clear it all at once. Yep. We can just not even sling, just throw. Go. This is it, Hugo. Your bird showed the way. Is this the part where we get revelations? That's the name of the chapter. Right? The island. It's a map of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantium? There is a lot of those around here. Look, Amicia! There's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the order! Yes! I see it! What order? A very ancient order of alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas... That one... Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The mm -hmm. teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you, I owe you. Come on then. Yes, we are gonna climb. The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Great, okay. Well, I thought we were headed to the mountains in the beginning, but now we definitely are. Can we get under those branches? Maybe find some root? Nope. That trunk, sorry, not the branch. More like a trunk. A tree trunk. Um, okay. Come on. Up. Very well. Yep. Some kind of uh, temple? Sanctuary. That's right. what I've heard it called. And now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. Okay. Seems so nice. Okay, the house is our first stop. <gasps> or, I mean, on the way to the uh, top of the mountain. Oh. Hmm. We'll go over the bridge with the fishermen on it and the beekeepers. But I'm glad we explored around. We found a bunch of tools. We found, I think, two toolboxes. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists. The little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like... A curse. Who 
could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby. It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but this is real, Sophia. In Guienne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. That is amazing. I feel I, I can trust Sophia somehow a lot easier than I did Arno. Just because she was never out to kill us. Like the first thing she said was don't mess with Amicia or I'll kill you. She said that to Arno. But um, when she says I give you my word, we'll get there. I believe her. Anyway, I think... This will be the end of this episode. We have had quite a nice exploration section in this episode. Uh, looking around Lacuna, seeing their rituals, um, breaking into some windmills, messing around with the, with their function. And um, yeah, and we found some tools. Um, had some revelations, found this amphitheater. Uh, where. Um, which pointed us to the, the mountain with a house inside of it or like in the, uh, you know, carved into it or something. And right at the end there, we had a little bit of a recap where Amicia told uh, Sophia about what they've been through in the first game with the Inquisition and all that. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. If you did as well, uh, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of me and Amy playing uh, our story-based games. And leave a comment down below to tell us how you feel about this playthrough. And I will catch you in the next episode. See ya!